So last weekend, I got a nice little surprise uh, on my 2020 Model Y, and I got an update 36.8. And I do get excited about all updates, but this one in particular. You can remotely access your cameras on your, in your Tesla, and you can use the PWS system, the pedestrian warning system, to speak through it. That's only if you have it installed. So let's look through the release notes. You can see that it's 36.8. And then you can look at the release notes. And look over here, you can say you can now view your car surroundings from the Tesla app when parked to confirm the safety of your environment before returning to your car. Live camera is end-to-end -end encrypted and cannot be accessed by Tesla. To enable or disable tap controls, safety security, view live camera via mobile app from the vehicle touchscreen. Note, this features feature requires uh, iOS mobile app version 4.2.1 or higher and premium connectivity. So sorry, Android users, but I'll show you how to enable it. You just go to the car safety and security. And if you go down, there's actually gonna be a new thing that says view live camera via mobile app. So this is the same thing um, as far as, it says when in use, the car's headlight will pulse and the touchscreen will show sentry mode is activated. Please note it is your sole responsibility to consult and comply with all local regulations and so on and yada yada yada. So um, they say that again that live cameras end-to-end -end encrypted and cannot be accessed by Tesla. So that's good to know. So Tesla mentions that in the release notes that it's really useful for like checking the safety and the environment. And I'm trying to see how I would personally use it. So there's this one instance where my car was parked in the public garage. It was like two, three in the morning and I got a sensor alarm that it, it, the alarm went off. So then I got really nervous. I put on my clothes and I walked all the way over to the garage to check my car. So this would be a great, you know, safety feature where you can check before you even check it. Just just in case that there is someone trying to break in and you don't risk that. Um, I think there's a lot of personal ways you can use this, but we're gonna take a quick look about how to actually use this and how this works with your phone and your vehicle. So you need to have a sentry mode on. So just go to security and make sure that's turned on. And make sure your car is charged enough because sentry mode won't activate if you have a very low charge. And then simply once you're in that security, tab you go to view live camera and you'll see the live camera will start turning on and you can see you got four corners this is the front over here you can go to the back and you can go to the left and these are side repeater cameras by the way guys and the right and what's interesting is this frame rate is really not that bad it's probably about 10 to 15 it's very very similar to kind of like your security cameras at home um, but it really isn't that bad but my favorite feature is going to be the mic feature. It uses a speaker in the front of your bumper and you could say whatever you want and it speaks through and they can hear you. So step away from the vehicle. But that is so cool. This is exactly why I love Tesla's. You get a new update and you get added new features and pretty soon these cars are going to have a mind of its own. What do you mean? I already do. Duh. Hey, hey, I'm trying to finish this video. You have to be quiet. Don't tell me what to do. I'm gonna, come on. It's, it's not nice. Thanks for watching, guys. And make sure to subscribe for more videos of me.